Joining me on GCS today is Superintendent of Schools W. Jeffrey Booker. Mr. Booker, thank you for being with us today. It's great to be here, Tom. We are talking about school safety, and several weeks ago, the state released what they called the Consolidated Data Report, and it has a lot of information in it. One talks about school crime and safety, and so we've got some good news to share uh, today about that. When you look at the 2015-16 school year, our school crime rate is 3.740, and it's the lowest among the 10 largest school districts. And that's why we like to tout to our public, our teachers, that we work hard to be a safe school system, and we feel what makes us the large district safest school system in the state. Yeah, that's something that we like to um, we like to promote a lot that we we really focus on that school safety it, it's very important for us and it's good to see that it's it remains important year after year well, when you look at our core beliefs one of the five core beliefs is safety and this is just an independent measure that shows what we talk about being a belief is something that we practice and we mentioned 3.740 is the rate for 2015-16. The year before that, we were at 4.073, and then in 2013-14, 4.723. So we've seen a decrease in that crime rate for schools over the past three years. And that's just a reflection of a lot of great partnerships. We work with law enforcement. You know, you can't say enough about what the county police do to work with our school system to help educate. We have a full-time safety compliance officer that his job is to work with our schools, do surprise inspections and work. But then it really speaks to what our teachers and our administrators and how much they value that having a safe learning environment is the basic starting point for a good education. And we also have the comprehensive safety plans for the schools that are reviewed on a regular basis, updated as needed. And so I think that really shows the importance that safety has um, for Gaston County Schools. And, and that review, you need to understand, Todd, goes all the way through the Board of Education. We'll have a closed session where those plans are presented and the board is given the opportunity to review, comment, ask questions. And I can tell you today, I was in a meeting talking about school safety and just what you said, addressing a change in our environment and what do we need to do. Mr. Booker, when you think about school safety, we have made some upgrades in our schools, some of the life safety equipment, camera equipment, and there are some other things that we have done in our schools. Yeah, Todd, when you go back four years, the school system formed a committee. It was made up of parents, law enforcement, as well as school administrators. And we talked about what we needed to do to enhance our safety in our schools. Some of the things included, we did some secondary entrances for some of our schools where you walked in and you were in the middle of the lobby. So we put secondary doors there. We had enhanced our identity management system so that when folks arrive at our schools, they check in, they present ID, and we have a record of who all is in our buildings. And those are just some of the steps that that committee talked about doing, and we continue to look at that report and see what we can do to improve our safety. And visitors on our campus last year for the first time, they noticed the buzz-in systems that are at the front door. That's just another layer of security at schools. Yes, so instead of being buzzed in and then showing identification, they're asked outside through a camera to present their ID so people can see that and then buzz them into the school. So. And I guess, Mr. Booker, it really comes back to the, the idea, first, the strong partnership that we have with law enforcement. I don't think you can say enough about the cooperation that we that we get from the Gaston County Police Department, the Sheriff's Office, the City Police Departments, and other agencies. Yes, and what is great for us is our kids start in the elementary seeing law enforcement and it helps them understand law enforcement is your friend. They're here to protect and you can have a relationship and it just grows as they get. And then in the high schools, those resource officers have a great uh, respect with the kids, but they also have an ability to be part of our community in our schools. And I think it helps us with the safety. And you mentioned the elementary at the elementary level. We were able a couple of years ago to expand the school resource officer program into those elementary schools so that all of the schools have, have the resources. And that's one of the things that I hope our community understands. You've got to commend the leadership from the county commission through the school board that the state made some funds available, but it had to be matched. And they stepped up and did it, which allowed us to go from having resource officers in the high school and middle schools down to the elementary. And then a lot of partnerships formed. We already enjoyed knowing each of our local 
uh, law enforcement agencies, but they're helping to provide those officers and that coverage, and it has benefited our school system. Mr. Booker, another component to the school safety, in addition to the support from law enforcement, it comes down to our employees really being aware of safety. It's on the front of our minds and being very diligent. Diligence is the word, and it is great. When you walk through our schools, you'll see them glancing at lapels to see if you have the visitor tag or you're displaying your Gaston County ID, and that's for the protection of everyone. I can tell you that when I check into a school, the front office is asking me, where is your ID? Because we need to know who's in our buildings, and we need to always be asking those questions. We want to say it again so everybody watching hears it. We have a great school system, a safe school system here in Gaston County Schools, and it, it's important because we have to be safe for that teaching and learning to take place. Yeah, and that's where, again, we gotta go back to what our teachers do every day, being aware of children's needs and our community's needs and just being diligent in helping raise flags that we all look at and we take very seriously. We do a lot of great work in Gaston County Schools when it comes to school safety and it is paying off for Gaston County Schools. Once again, the safest large district in the state among the top 10 school districts. And we just thank the community for supporting all these measures that we do and recognizing we're doing it for the protection of their children. Superintendent Booker, thank you for being with us today on GCS Today.